We all know that Disney Springs has incredible shopping and food, but where can you go if you just want a drink, a snack, or really even a full meal? Find out today on WDWAO. Welcome, Your Royal Highnesses. I am Taylor with WDW Adults Only, and today we will be discussing all of your bar and lounge options in Disney Springs. Now, this is a more unique situation than the parks, as the majority of the bars and lounges you'll find in Disney Springs will be located in one of the many amazing restaurants, with a few exceptions, of course. At some of the restaurants, you'll be able to walk in without a reservation and grab a seat at the bar for either just a drink or a full meal. This seating is never guaranteed, of course, and we always say if there is somewhere you really, really want to eat or drink, try to snag an ADR before your trip. But during non-peak hours, and often during weekdays, you can walk in, get a seat at the bar with little to no wait at all. If you are interested in learning more about the bar and lounges in Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot, I will link those videos in the description down below. And before we get started, let me know in the comments down below, is there a place in Disney Springs that you always find yourself going for a quick drink or a snack without a dining reservation? I will be discussing the two types of bars and lounges today with only briefly talking about the first type of the two. And that would be the bars that you can find inside of the restaurants that may accept walk-ins. The theming in these will be that of the restaurant and all of the menus will be the same as if you were sitting at a table. You'll be able to order off the regular restaurant menu and enjoy a full meal or just a drink or two if you're not hungry. As I said, I'm not gonna dive too deep into these locations because Dan already has two videos covering all of the restaurants in Disney Springs. If you are interested in learning about them, I will link those videos in the description down below. But just know that you will find bars that you may be able to walk in and grab a seat without a reservation at the following locations. City Works Eatery and Poor House, House of Blues Restaurant and Bar, Lava Lounge at Rainforest Cafe, Raglan Road, Dockside at the Boat House, Wine Bar George, Enzo's Hideaway and Tunnel Bar, Haleo, The Edison, Frontera Casina, Paradiso 37, Taste of the Americas, The Polite Pig, Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming Shine Bar and Social, Paddlefish Rooftop Lounge, and Terralina Crafted Italian. I'm also gonna mention the Forbidden Lounge at Morimoto Asia here. When this restaurant first opened, the lounge had a unique menu and was open late into the night, 2 a.m. But since the COVID closure and reopening, it just matches the hours of the restaurant, so it's not quite as special yet. But you can reach this lounge through a secret entrance, which is pretty cool. And I know I definitely want to check it out in the future. Okay, now moving on to some of those more unique spots that offer their own menus and some of their own experiences. I have to start with the random drink carts that you'll find around Disney Springs. These bar carts appeared after the 2020 reopening when Dockside Margaritas and Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar were not allowed to operate. And they have stuck around. If you are looking for something quick that you can just grab and go, then you may wanna pick up one of a few different cocktails or seasonal beers found at these carts. And since I have already mentioned it, let's head to Dockside Margaritas next. This stand can be found in the marketplace and will have you unwinding with a chilled margarita at the outdoor waterfront lounge inspired by a 1960s Florida produce stand. 
If you like a good margarita like me, then this is definitely a must-do location. You can get classics and unique options like Patron, Anejo, Habanero Lime, or Watermelon, along with seasonal varieties too. They have strawberry and lime frozen margs, along with a Long Island iced tea and an Orange Grove Spice Rum Runner too. There are seasonal beers, a few wines, and a seasonal mocktail here as well. They often have some live music to enjoy while sipping your tequila base drinks too. This is a really nice spot to sit and enjoy a Florida sunset before or after a wonderful Disney Springs meal. Now we'll be heading over to the landing where you can't miss Jock Lindsay's hangar bar. This is a vintage airplane hangar turned dive bar themed after Indiana Jones barnstorming pilot. This family friendly waterfront outpost is a prime destination for explorers seeking casual fare with a daring flair and rare cocktail concoctions. I have been there several times and have been nothing but impressed with their drinks and their food. There is a small non-alcoholic libation section along with a really nice cocktail menu. Everything from mules to margaritas, sangria to mojitos. There is an interesting collection of beers from around the world and some wines available by the glass or bottle. And if you visit Hungary, that is not a problem. Grab an appetizer of sliders, a loaded pretzel, meatballs, queso fundido, chicken wings, or churrasco, which is really, really good. There are a few flatbread options along with chicken, al pastor, and tuna tacos too. Visit on Monday through Friday between noon and three and get a special price on the pretzel and queso along with a few of the wines, well drinks, draft beers, and the Reggie's Revenge cocktail. The theming here is super well done and there is a lovely back deck that overlooks the lake with great views of the amphicars too. I definitely recommend Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar for a drink, snack, or full meal stop when in Disney Springs. Now, when you think of Splitsville, you probably think of bowling and not necessarily food and drink, but it all comes highly recommended in the restaurant. And you can walk over to the Bamboo Bar if you want a quick drink to go. The Bamboo Bar only opened last year and you'll find it tucked on the left side of Splitsville near Everglades Donuts. There is a walk-up counter for quick sips to go, an outdoor patio, and indoor bar seating along with some tables and booths. There is nothing specific at this bar that you can't find at the Splitsville restaurant, but there is a huge menu of frozen drinks, tropical resort classics, specialty cocktails, draft, bottled and canned beers and wine. They also have $20, 20 ounce, squeeze bottles that you can refill for $13. Refillable booze, I mean, come on. This is a fantastic spot for some unique cocktails or a quick beer before dinner or a nice round of bowling. And just like bowling, you may not think of going to a movie theater for a drink, but that's exactly where our next location is gonna take us. Located in the west side, MacGuffins at the AMC Theater will have you sitting back and relaxing with a variety of beer, wine, and cocktails in a lobby bar. You can walk in and have a seat at the bar, enjoying your cocktail there, taking it to go, or even taking it with you into that movie you wanna see. At this lounge, choose from a nice selection of sweet and dry white wines, a handful of reds, all the classic beers you know and love, and some specialty craft and imports as well. Plus, depending on what movies are playing, you might find some fun and unique themed cocktails too. If your sweet tooth needs to be indulged, then you can grab a chocolate shake here that is made with Ghirardelli chocolate syrup, chocolate shell, and topped with a decadent brownie. But if that is too much sugar, go ahead and just fill up on some classic movie theater popcorn here too. This may not be the most unique bar in the entirety of Disney Springs, but it is a good classic bar option if you just want a drink. Next up, you can walk over to Stargazer's Bar at Planet Hollywood. Located at Town Center, you can head to this outdoor patio to sip on cosmic inspired cocktails and local craft beers while listening to live music. 
As expected, you'll find a nice sized drink menu here with the typical bottled and draft beers and some unique Florida craft beers as well. You can have wine by the glass or the bottle or choose from an interesting selection of Florida fresh handcrafted cocktails. And if you're feeling a little snacky, you can grab a soft baked pretzel along with a foot long hot dog with or without chili and cheese. You can enjoy specialty priced cocktails, craft beers and wine from 4 to 7 p.m. during happy hour. On Wednesdays, partake in some karaoke from 7 to 11 and on Fridays and Saturdays, enjoy some professional live music from 7 to 11 as well. This is a great outdoor location to just sit and chill before or after one of those colossal burgers from Planet Hollywood. Our final stop today is going to be taking us up a few floors. Head to town center and you'll run right into a giant Coca-Cola themed shop. If you go up to the third floor, you'll find the Coca-Cola store rooftop beverage bar. Here you can explore classic and exotic flavors from all around the world while taking in panoramic views of Disney Springs. You can choose from a huge, huge menu with everything featuring Coca-Cola products, of course. Get fountain beverages, energy and sports drinks, juices, different flavored floats, ices, and Costa coffee here. If you want a little more personal and bigger experience than the one you can get from Club Cool in Epcot, order the Around the World tray and try 16 sparkling and still beverages from many different countries. Or make it a float tray by adding ice cream. The cocktails here are so fun. You have your classics like Coca-Cola and Jack Daniels or spiked vanilla Coke, or have a Topo Chico ranch water, Fresca habanero lime, a Coke Zero mojito, and a Fanta wave. If you are a Coca-Cola and a cocktail fan, I think this might be a must stop location. They even have mocktails if you want some spirit free libations and you can grab a bag of peanuts or some cheddar popcorn if you need to counterbalance all that sugar. I have checked out this place once for the around the world tray many years ago and it was super, super fun, but I definitely think I'm gonna be heading back to check out those mocktails and the cocktails because they seem so unique and so cool and right up my alley. Well, there you have it. A little bit of a shorter one today, but as I said earlier, make sure you check out our videos all about the restaurants in Disney Springs to get a better idea of where you can go for a bar or a lounge while you're visiting. Let me know in the comments, what are your must do locations to relax and just grab a cocktail or a mocktail when visiting Disney Springs? Are there any stops that I mentioned today that you've never heard of or that you really, really wanna check out now? I wanna hear all of your opinions down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it's helped you plan out some future visits to Disney Springs. And if it has, please make sure to share this video with your friends to help them out too. While you are at it, click that thumbs up button letting us know that you enjoyed this video. And if you aren't already, hit that subscribe button to become a subscriber, clicking that little bell along the way so you get a notification when all of our videos premiere. Also, please join us in our wonderful WDW adults only Facebook group if you haven't yet. We will continue this discussion and discussions about drinks in the parks and drinks in the hotel and drinks anywhere you can imagine in Disney along with so, so many more. You can find the link for that right down in the description below. And as always, never grow up.